Today on Earth Focus, top green automotive innovations from Japan. Constantino de Miguel reports from Tokyo. Coming up on Earth Focus. By 2030, half of the world's population will live in cities. Like many Western countries, Japan is already facing the challenges of ensuring health and mobility for its citizens while avoiding an environmental collapse in its densely populated urban areas. Sustainable mobility is the way to go with eco-friendly public transportation and private cars and motorbikes that not only have zero emissions, but can become a part of a green urban ecosystem. At the electronics fair SIA Tech held in Tokyo in October, the powerful Japanese motor industry wanted to show its latest innovations that would lead us to a cleaner urban environment. Honda's president Takanobu Ito showed off a mock installation in which a Honda motorbike powers a huge steam kettle. The company wanted to illustrate the concept of household energy cogeneration as part of the Honda smart home system. Here, the eye-catching exhibit consists of a motorcycle, which represents a gas engine power generation unit. This allows the motorbike to transform its kinetic energy into electricity to be able to power household appliances. On the other hand, the giant steaming kettle represents a hot water supply system utilizing the calories containing the exhaust heat coming from the motorbike. With this presentation, visitors can experience the function of highly efficient gas engine cogeneration system. We show this machine, motorcycle with big kettle, then easy to understand the turn on engines and generate electricity and make hot water. In the aftermath of the Fukushima earthquake, a market need has arisen for cogeneration systems that can be used even during a power outage. Power can be generated independently of the utility grid by simply starting an engine. Maximum power output during autonomous operation is approximately 980 watts, enough to provide night lighting and power basic appliances. Following the environment-friendly approach of linking cars to houses, the leading Japanese automobile manufacturer Toyota is taking a new step to make the ownership of an electric or hybrid vehicle more convenient. The front runner from Toyota, the hybrid Prius, can now be charged without using cables or plugs, just wireless, resulting in more efficient space usage at home and in parking areas in cities. This is look like a normal plug-in hybrid, but this year this is not plugged because this has a wireless charging system, so it no need to connect battery charger. Then inside it has a coil, so so you can charge uh, this car through wireless charging system. The advantage of this one is, of course, to save space. Uh, no need to stand the pole. Actually, parking lot becomes just just a small size. Then, in the future, if we introduce automatic uh, driving system, you take off the car, then just push button. Then car goes into the parking space automatically. Then, through night, it can be charged. At that time, the parking space is very small. You can save space as well as money. In particular, in our big cities, saving space is really important for human beings' happiness. That's our new technology this year. Newsweek magazine chose Toyota last year as Japan's greenest company. At the SIA Tech Show, the Japanese brand added a new concept electric vehicle to its Hamo car sharing project, which lets users rent electric cars by the minute. The prototype vehicle has dual 2 kilowatt motors that can propel the car at speeds up to 35 miles per hour on a single charge of its lithium-ion battery. Users can book, rent and pay the electric charge in real time using a smartphone. Renting the car for an hour would cost just $12. Toyota is selling these shareable light electric vehicles to different cities across Japan. 
Back in 2010, Nissan introduced the LEAF, a zero-emission car, the first mass-market fully electric vehicle launched globally. Now is the best-selling EV in history. At Ciatec, Nissan won the most important innovation award of the show by turning the LEAF into a driverless car. So uh, this is the autonomous driving demonstration. So the usually the uh, autonomous driving should need a, a starting point and destination and how to go through the track. So but this time is the demonstration. So the starting point and destination and how to go through the track is already inputted in the computer. So uh, this is the next step of autonomous driving mode. I just push down the switch and so the car starts automatically to go through this track. When it turns on in blue, that means that the car is, is now driving through the route as, as it planned. The other cars are coming from the left side, uh -huh. so can car detect that cars also. So the steering changed to the red. That means that the car is, you know, recognizing and judging how to move. Then this time the car choose to wait here until it goes by. You know, by using this kind of technologies, you know, the car can control the more sufficient ways of driving, so that uh, it can expand the you know driving range of the. Uh, electric vehicle. We believe that uh, this kind of technology helps the driver, you know, so that uh, we think that the driver is the first, you know. So even in the autonomous driving mode, if the driver wants to steer or gas or uh, decelerate, uh, the driver can do any time while driving. At least, you know, this car equips the five cameras and five laser scanners to see the 360 of this car uh, any time. You see, it's a very, uh, you know, advantage point from the human being. This is the one, one of five cameras. This one see the, this in front areas. And we also have here, inside the rear view mirror. So we have two cameras in front, near and far, and two both sides. And finally, we have fifth one. here to see the rear areas. So this, this uh, configuration you see this 360 of the cameras. And we also have uh, laser scanners. Here's one laser scanners to see behind. Here, yeah. And both sides, you can see that this black box, that is also the, another type of laser scanners to, to see the 100 degrees areas of the, each side of the car. Laser scanners see the 180 degrees of in front areas. Standard so these scanners have the performance to detect uh, about the 100 meters. So even the cars uh, drive in a relatively high speed, it can detect the oncoming cars. The technology of autonomous driving is meant to reduce road accidents by improving safety. Other objectives are expanded mobility for the elderly and people with disabilities and less traffic congestion. But there is more. Nissan estimates that this driverless technology could trim CO2 emissions from cars by 300 million tons a year worldwide. Autonomous driving so can move the car with a logic. So we explain the fish logic. So therefore, the, with the autonomous driving, the, the flow of the traffic so can become more smoother. Then the traffic efficiency so could be raised up. Nissan Motor Company has the two visions. First one is zero emissions, which was realized by the uh, Leaf electric vehicle. And the second vision is zero fatalities, means zero traffic accident. And so the autonomous driving is uh, our first big step to realize zero fatalities. It's back to the future with electric vehicles. EVs are still a promise to come true due to their as yet expensive price and need for a large space to place heavy and awkward batteries.
Nissan started to work this year with a U.S. car manufacturer Ford and Germany's Daimler to develop a fuel cell system based on compressed hydrogen that can produce enough electricity to power a car by 2017. Sustainable mobility in big cities like Tokyo has certainly room for improvement. Now that the Japanese capital will host the 2020 Olympics, there is a common goal for the car industry, the local authorities and citizens to show the world that moving in this metropolis can be done with minimum carbon imprint. Although the best solution for sustainable mobility is often the simplest. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.